You know, over the years, it's been one of the biggest shockers for medical patients. Unexpected charges that often run into the thousands of dollars. Yeah, joining us now to discuss surprise medical bills and a new law aimed at preventing them is the president of the American Heart Association, Dr. Donald Lloyd-Jones. And, and, and Dr. Lloyd-Jones, you know what? Let me just say this. I can't imagine anyone more appropriate to talk about this because that can put a lot of stress on your heart and other parts of your body receiving a bill like that in the mail. Oh, you're absolutely right, Tony, and good morning, Roxia. Thanks so much for having us on. This is a really critically important issue for patients and their families. So what is surprise medical billing for? I mean, I think it's self-explanatory, but talk a little bit about how people get it, they don't expect it, and how much it can run them. What can they do about it? Sure. So a patient might receive a surprise medical bill when they unexpectedly receive care from a doctor or other provider that's outside their insurance company's network. So that might happen sometimes in an emergency setting where they're transported by an ambulance company or taken to a hospital that's outside their network. And sometimes actually there'll be care providers on their team that unbeknownst to them are actually contractors, again, from outside their network. But in all these types of cases, the patient is on the hook currently for paying that bill. This new law that goes into effect on January 1st called the No Surprises Act is meant to protect patients from these potentially devastating situations, which as you said, can run sometimes thousands or even tens of thousands of dollars. So how, how does that work? I mean, how, do, how does it protect people from having to, to pay those bills? Because like, like you pointed out, I mean, previously they've been on the hook for those uh, charges. That's right. So this new law will go into effect on January 1st. The No Surprises Act is actually passed and signed last December, but it will be implemented on January 1st. So the rules under which it will be implemented or put into practice are actually being written right now. And we're urging Congress and the Biden administration to make sure that they use tough rules and strong enforcement to do what the law was intended to do. And that is get patients out of the middle of these disputes between the doctor and the insurance company or the provider and the insurance company. Make sure the patient doesn't receive the bill in the first place, but certainly doesn't get stuck in these prolonged battles about who should pay. You know, we often hear about people who don't want to call an ambulance or get in an ambulance because they don't want to be stuck with these crazy bills. And that can come down to, in many cases, life and death. Mm. So talk a little bit about that and how this act will hopefully prevent people from having to choose. Well, you're absolutely right. You know, our data show that actually half of Americans have said, you know, that they've actually deferred or delayed care because they're worried about surprise medical bills and that, you know, even a bill as little as a thousand dollars could potentially ruin their family. So, you know, that can cause problems if a patient feels like they might be having a heart attack or a stroke uh, or some other acute medical emergency and they're delaying care. That can mean both heart damage, brain brain damage, but also potentially be very, very dangerous and threaten their life. So we want to make sure that, you know, patients don't get stuck in this really uh, terrible kind of situation where they're making choices like that because they're worried about the consequences of the billing. Well, and, and doctor, the other part of this equation is that if you're in a, in a distressed situation, you don't necessarily have any control over where you're being taken or, or where you, you get treatment. So if it's out of your network, you, you don't have any control over that a lot of times. Well, that's exactly right. You know, certainly patients should understand when, when it's a, you know, when it's a kind of controlled situation, they should know what their, what their insurance company covers, make sure that what they're doing is within network. But especially in these emergency situations, it's out of your control. And we want to make sure that there are strong protections so that patients don't receive these surprise medical bills, you know, after the fact when, you know, they couldn't have known that something was out of network at the time. Dr. Lloyd Joins, thank you so much for uh, joining us this morning. A really important conversation, and hopefully mm -hmm. uh, we will continue to follow as this uh, story develops because a lot of people will be impacted by this. Yes, indeed. You know, we're hoping people will support the American Heart Association, and they can do that by texting the word SURPRISE to 46839. That was SURPRISE to 46839 to join our grassroots efforts to get Congress and the Biden administration to protect patients as much as possible. All right. Very good. Dr. Thank Lloyd Jones, thanks time. so much for joining us. Really important.